Hey everybody, and we're back with Hotline Miami. I'm Scooby Doop, and let's go on in. Where we are part two questions. Oh, it's you again. Looks like you've been busy since we last met you. I see that you remember me now, don't you? But you still don't know who I am. You don't even know who introduced us, do you? Why did you come back here? You're not a nice person, are you? You make me sick. Picture is starting to form. Take form here. I wonder if it's accurate. Some pieces don't quite seem to fit. Or maybe I just don't like the way it looks. I guarantee it. <laughs> I think our time is up. We'll meet again. Before you go, these four questions to ponder. Question number one. Do you like hurting other people? Question number two. Who are leaving messages on your answering machine? Question number three. Where are you right now? And the final question. Why are we having this conversation? That's all for now. See you soon. May 5th. Uh, that's just one of the... Oh, we'll, talk. we'll do this and then I'll, I'll gush. Good evening. This is Blake speaking. <laughs> we have a job for you. There's a power outage. Over on 24th Northeast Street. We want you to take care of it. We already sent someone over a while ago. But it seems he didn't do a very good job. Head over there right away. They're expecting you. Keep it quick and clean. Click. I don't... Like, one of the... Uh, I'm gushing right here. A uh, gush rant going on right here, by the way, while we do this next level. Fourth chapter, Tension. The chapter's at the levels, by the way. In case you couldn't tell. And with that, we have unlocked Don Juan, who has lethal doors. Now doors, when they hit people, they will instantly kill them instead of just knocking them out. And if I'm correct, this level also introduces a very annoying mechanic, which are dogs. And dogs are very difficult to do, because you can't knock them out with your fists. Anyway, gush rant here. I love how this game takes advantage of the video game art form, in that in video games, if you're dropped down somewhere, it's just... You don't even think twice about it, you know, you're just there. In Mario, you know, you're in a grassy field, next thing you know you're in a desert. Sure, that must just be the way to Bowser's Castle. Who would... who would expect anything different? I don't know. We'll take care of these guys. Ooh, nice. Oh, one bullet is all it takes, and that's what I hate. But in this game, it actually makes you question just, hey, you're out and where are you? You know, what are you doing? Who are you? Why are you doing this? Who's calling you? Oh, that guy was so dead. Whatever. And, you know, what are you doing? Why are you hurting people? Do you like it? Does it make you feel good? I don't know. What kind of person are you? What is your name? <laughs> it just makes you start thinking of all these questions. And it's really an interesting, really an interesting sort of relationship with the character that doesn't exist. Remember, we have lethal doors. Remember that. Oh, you thought you could. Uh, no. I disagree with that. I was so almost done. This is the thing I was scared of, is that we'll just get to, like, you know, end of levels. Where, you know, only one thing remains. That's, oh, that's really killing me. And I'm just failing over and over again. This, this level, this game does have a lot of trial and error. Which I'm totally okay with. I like it. I think it's the good kind. Why did I throw my gun? That was such a bad decision. Why would you ever throw your gun? I, you know, in this game, there are the certain circumstances where that's a good thing to do. The game lagged out. I'm blaming it on it. I'm not even, I'm not even ashamed for not taking blame for that one. That was dumb. I wonder if you can throw things at dogs. Barrel. I thought we were wiring Don Juan's man. Oh, he's dead. Ooh, baby. Oh, uh, mm, this is when you should be using shift. I never use shift. That's my bad, honestly. I should be using shift a lot more. Okay. 
Who else? Come on now. Oh, that one guy was he's the sneakiest man ever. Oh! <laughs> it's a game. It's a game. Let's all calm down. Ooh, these, these shotguns. They actually have like the worst gun ever, which is so annoying. It only has two rounds, and I hate using it. And so it just makes you feel bad when they're the ones that kill you. Uh, did those doors kill him? I hope it did. I don't know if our, like, uh, obviously, we have lethal doors, but I don't know if our bullets have lethal doors, which is interesting, because our bullets can open doors. Which doesn't make any sense. That man did not. Whatever. You know, sometimes the AI just says, yeah, I saw you, and then you're like, no. Whatever. I thought we could go get him through the door, maybe. Oh, what? He didn't know I was there. I wasn't paying attention to him, of course, so I don't know if he was just... Oh, there's that music. Oh, I should have known. I, you know... I like these... In my first playthrough, I didn't use guns, like, at all. I just went through, you know, with a baseball bat or something. And it wasn't very fun. I picked up the wrong one. Okay. Alright. Alright. Be careful. Be careful. <laughs> don't think I don't see you there, man. Okay. It did not give me a go, did it? That means somebody's still alive. Oh, you. <laughs> Silly man. Okay, I, sh I should not be doing this. We we're still rated on time and everything, so we should be really rushing through this. So I'm gonna go against my own what I just said about the guns and just try and kill everybody as fast as I can, whether that's with a melee weapon or what. Okay. Ugh. Oh, that was a bad move. Don't don't throw your knife. Throw your knife at the guy's head. If you're gonna. I got this. Ugh. I need better timing. I need better timing. Oh, come on. Oh, don't run at people with guns! <laughs> Where is he going? Come on, get up. Oh! I thought I had him. Oh no, I want the knife. Okay. Hey, hey. Oh, I think... Okay. Everybody brace themselves. I remember this part. There's a... Mm. Now, see? Now you're... Oh. Wait. Where are we? I may edit that part out. It's that noise. Pick up the shotgun. Pick up the shot. Not that gun. Come on. Now pick up this. Ah. All right. So you'll see that those two doors are rigged. So that means you have to. You have to. What do you have to do? I know I. Hmm. What do you have to do? I honestly, don't remember. Wait. What? There's a frying pan. It's kind of fun. Ah, the music. Yeah, 
That was dumb. That was dumb. Don't worry about it. Oh, I, th I thought I was dead! Oh, that's awesome! Except it wasn't. Hey, pick up something. Come on. Come on, Carl. Oh, I thought he was dead. Uh, there's a lot of... I thought he was dead. The art... I mean, the art is amazing. It's beautiful, don't get me wrong. It's just, it's hard to... Sometimes it's hard to see what's going on. You know? Dead people and alive people, they kind of look the same. At least to me, as a stone-cold killer. Why do I keep throwing it? Don't throw your weapon, just use your weapon. Ugh. There's no guns. So you gotta wait. What is better? Getting three kills right there? Or... Yeah, let's just run through with this. Okay. Until there. Let's just run the knife is one of the best melee weapons. As you can see by that guy <laughs> stabbing my face with it. And we want his gun. And we got... There we go. We have to get around here? Am I missing something? Because they're interrogating him. What am I missing? Am I just being dumb? Oh, you have to shoot the door. Man, that sound is the worst. <laughs> still the same level that we started on today? Oh, uh, there's no way around that one. Alright. This will be interesting. I'm just trying to get as many combos as you can. There's probably some people already going like, Slow down, man! Come on! But, that's not how you play this game. Okay, we need a shotgun. Alrighty. There you go! Just kill everyone. Oh! Oh my... Goodness. Come on. Haha! Gotcha! There we go! Where's my gun? I threw it. Okay, you just need to be quick there. It's probably also good to... Oh, he went. It's probably good to go back and get a machine gun there, so I think I'm gonna do that next time. Ugh. Come on. Fight me! Fight me like a man! Alright, we figured it out, though. No. I'm sorry that took me so long. To figure out. I've, I've played through this game, I swear. Which is the embarrassing part. Let me take this. And then we say, yeah! That's how you do it. Boom, baby. Alright, and then we're out. You get this nice relaxing music. Your guys. But you can't hear it because your ears are dead. Because that loud explosion is played like five times now. Ugh! That one's embarrassing. Mm. Sorry about that, guys. A lot of exposure. Is that good? We got a new mask! Graham. These masks are awful looking. We unlocked a new weapon. You unlock new weapons, by the way. Is he going through? The Magnum. There is not a lot of difference with the weapons. Some of I mean, some of them are interesting. Oh, hi there. Good to see you. I was a bit worried about you. City streets don't seem so safe anymore, you know? What with all the killings out there and all that, I mean. Don't worry about paying. You're my friend. The money's no good here. You can have a good day. Oh. We're buying chips. Cool. That's our dinner. That seems legit. I think that was the first level. Okay. Well. You guys got a lot of fail in that one. I hope you're pretty happy with that. I think we're going to end the episode here. My name's Koombadoom. 
I've been having tons of fun, and I hope you have been too. This is Hotline Miami, and it's super awesome. In the next episode, we'll keep going on. Comment, like, subscribe. I'll work on my outro next time, I swear. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.